In this video, we're given the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n factorial squared times x to the n over 2n factorial. We want to find the radius of convergence. So for that, we're going to use a ratio test, taking the n plus first term and then dividing that by the nth term. So we're going to come up with two separate fractions. The first fraction will be, the, the t will be these two. And then the 2n factorial is going to come at the top and it's going to be above the 2 times n plus 1 factorial, which that will be just 2n plus 2 factorial. Now the x to the n plus 1 over x to the n, that's just going to be x. And then 2n plus 2 factorial is 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1 times 2n factorial. And then the 2n factorial is going to cancel. Now we can break up the n plus 1 factorial squared. That's just n plus 1 factorial times n plus 1 factorial, which is n plus 1 times n factorial times n plus 1 times n factorial. And that's just n plus 1 squared times n factorial squared. So the n factorial squared is going to cancel. And now I can bring everything together. So we have n plus 1 squared times x over 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1. Now the x can come outside because the limit depends on n, not x. And x comes out as an absolute value. Foiling out the numerator, we get n squared plus 2n plus 1. Foiling out the denominator, we get 4n squared plus 4n plus 1. Clearly the limit is going to be 1 fourth. And we want this to be less than 1, so that means the absolute value of x is less than 4. That means the radius of convergence is 4.